Um, now I just kind of want it to happen. You know, if one way of thinking about it is it's an, I feel like there's an awful lot of weight on my, one particular 90 minute period of my life. Do you know what I mean? We've been thinking about this and planning it for about seven months now. And, uh, and it's 90 minutes, you know, and it's just kind of like, come on. I've, I've had my moments being nervous about it, and I did slightly wake up in the middle of the night last night and go, fucking hell, I don't remember. Um, but, uh, but I mean, generally speaking, you know, I'm confident it's going to be a good show. I wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't. That's the thing, I mean, it's like, you know, obviously it's kind of my name on the masthead and all the rest of it, but I do what I do to support my band and, and also the great unsung heroes of all music industry stuff is the crew as well, the guys who are working downstairs harder than any of the people who play with instruments do, you know, and, uh, and they're really good at their jobs, you know, and uh, I mean, and that it's, it's kind of another part of it, it's like, it's like the set list thing, or just appro approaching the show generally, I spent ages thinking, oh, you know, we have to make it really different, we have to, you know, bells and whistles and this, that and the other, and then I kind of pulled myself up on it a little while ago and just went, in a way, it would almost be denigrating to every other show I play to treat it like that, because it's like every single time I get up on stage, I try and make it the best show I could possibly do. Um, and there's a, there is a level on which Wembley is another gig. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just another gig, and we're going to do what we do all the time, which is go up there and smash it, you know? And we did that in Amsterdam last week, and we did it in America two weeks ago, and we're going to do it at Wembley on Friday. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny. Something, something that... Um, I've kind of now discovered that less people know about than I thought they did is the whole tattoo thing with Friday the 13th. Um, on Friday the 13th, generally tattooists give out free 13 tattoos, and it's supposed to be a lucky day for like the countercultures sort of thing. Or, or it's like it's like the misfits, you know, or like circus people, that kind of thing. It's a Friday the 13th, the lucky day, and uh, I thought lots of people knew about this. It turns out, so I mean, for example, I invited quite. I have a lot of friends who are tattooists. So I invited quite a few of them down to the show. But most of them said they can't make it because they're going to be holed up in their studios giving out free 13 tattoos. You get all of them to give you a 13 tattoo. I'm, I'm getting one done on the Are day. You? Oh, fuck yeah. Before or after? Uh, kind of during, but I'm not going to explain any more. Right. <laughs> well, the day was free, I'll say that much. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I, I mean, as well, as well as all of that kind of, like, sort of trinketry, I'm also something of a kind of scientific rationalist, sort of Ben Goldacre fan, in my view of the world, and like, it's, you know, I'm not a superstitious person really, okay. so I don't really give a shit. That was interesting. Um, that was, I'm very flattered, thank you for the domination enemy, thanks very much. Uh, I mean, you know, I do, trying to be vaguely serious about it for a minute, you know, the good thing about the internet, one of the good things about the internet is that it's very good at kind of breaking down the barriers kind of pulling apart beside the curtain in Oz, do you know what I mean? And showing that people who make music aren't this kind of rarefied breed of delicate flowers who need to be sort of pampered and rubbed and stroked. They're just sort of people. I'm quite conscious of the fact that there's quite a lot of people who read my Twitter. So I don't, it's funny, that for me personally, and this applies to everything, not just Twitter, it's used a lot. There's a very, very strict and definite line in my mind between what is private and what's public. Um, it may not appear that way from the outside, which is, I guess for the best, really. But I mean, there's there's a lot of there's an angle of my life I won't talk about with people I don't know. No, I I no <laughs> no, they kill me. I am um, no, not certainly not to my band, not to my band. I mean, you know, I have I have crappy days. I remember one time this is years ago now. One time I was in the middle of being dumped on the phone when a bunch of kids kind of came across me in the street. Oh mate, let's get some photographs and autographs and stuff. And I was just trying to find a nice way of saying, really, not now. Like this is not a good time for me because I was kind of at the kind of like, but why kind of part of the conversation. And then these kids are trying to get autographs. And funnily enough, that was basically why. Um, <laughs> it was that kind of thing. I actually think that my personal world I'm showing is quite simple. My my view of the world and politics. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a classical liberal, I believe, and leaving people alone to do whatever they want as long as they're not affecting other people, all this kind of thing. And therefore, obviously, believe in stuff like freedom of speech and freedom of assembly and that kind of thing. And I, and I find it, I get very, very frustrated by how full of idiots the world is 
who say things like, oh yeah, of course I'm in favour of freedom of speech, but, and it's like, right, wicked, you're not in favour of freedom of speech there, because you just said the B word, right, at which point you get off the fucking wagon, you <laughs> idiot, you know, it's like, it's like that thing that guy who got done on Twitter the other day for saying horrible shit about that football going last day. Of course he's an asshole. of course what he said was unpleasant. But Jesus Christ, do we really live in a society where there's functional adults who can't tell the difference between disapproving of something and then making it a punishable, imprisonable offence? Because there's a fucking world of difference between those two things. God fucking damn it, you illiberal bastards. And it, ah, anyway, I'll shut up now. America's a much freer country than the UK. Much, much freer. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of one of them move there. It's a much more liberal country than the UK. I, I'm sure the US a lot, uh, and I love touring there. Not least because it feels like a free country. I mean, it was a sport tour. We did two months out there, small, mm. we, which we've done four or five times before. We did a headline tour at the end of last year. It was great. I, I, I have an awful lot of love for America. It's a, it's a much misunderstood place. I think um, something I have very little time for is the kind of sort of tedious, ill-informed anti-Americanism that you get from a lot of people who went to New York on their holidays yeah. once and therefore think they know what America's about. And it's kind of like really. People think Americans are rude. Yeah. Fucking no idea where you got that idea from. Americans have so much better manners than English people, it's actually embarrassing being an American. Well, they are the most polite, well-mannered people in the world. Well, well, country well. Well. Yeah. And they make English people look like the foul-mouthed, lazy, intolerant slobs that we are. <laughs> I do write on the road, though, simply mainly out of necessity, because I don't actually do anything else with my life. I don't have a place. Or anything like that, and this is all I do is travel and play music. So, um, if I didn't write when I was on the move, then I wouldn't write, basically. But uh, I mean, you know, it depends on the tour, really. I mean, the tour we just did was kind of hectic because we didn't have any crew, so I was doing the merch and I was just guitar tapping myself, and all that, loading in and out every day and all that kind of thing, which doesn't leave massive of time. But, you know, yeah. on a headline tour, I mean, somebody strings my guitars for me, it gives me time to in between interviews and stuff to try and write new songs. Yeah. Which at the moment I'm doing quite a lot of. Kind of the most exciting thing at this exact juncture in time for me is that we've got a really big UK tour happening at the end of the year. Lots of people kind of look at the Wembley thing and kind of go, oh, no, you're only going to do London shows or you're only going to do arena shows or something. And I'm emphatically not going to do that. You know, we're going to do uh, loads of stuff. Um, and the next UK tour we're going to do is going to be like four weeks around the UK playing everywhere from every corner of this island sort of thing. And I'm really excited that we're announcing the dates on Monday, actually like oh, the Monday after one bit. Amazing. So that's gonna be really cool. Um, and then, uh, you know, we've got the US headline tour coming up. Um, recording another album this summer. I've got a hardcore side project I'm working on, writing a book. Uh, I get bored quite easily, you might be able to tell. Um, and I just like to keep on the move, really. I, the hardcore thing I'm doing is definitely it's a side project, yeah. um, and the problem with that is it means it's pretty low down my list of priorities in life, which is as it should be, but it just means I can't really say when anything oh, concrete is going to happen with it. Right. But I'm really excited about it, it's really liberating to be... you got a name yet? We do, but I'm not actually allowed to tell okay. you yet, so I'm going to keep that to myself. Because it's going to be... We are, we are going to play some shows before the end of this year, I can say that, but I can't say where or when or how. Or who's with you? Uh, the band is me and Matt from Sleep Results and Ben Dawson who is in Million Dead Line. So we're three piece. But I, I can't, that's as far as the information on that goes.